Howdy YouTube! Hope all you guys and gals out there in interweb land are doing well. Hey listen, real growers face real problems and today I'm going to show you what's going on in our garden. As you can see we got holes in my plants. My god I got holes in my plants. Yep, they're turning my Brussels into a lunch buffet. And what it is are these little cabbage worms. As you can see, the, the infestation is rather advanced. They're doing a good deal of damage. So I made the executive decision to break out the big guns and get it eradicated once and for all. I had to get a new sprayer for the application. Got her opened up here. Here I got this awesome hands uh, assisted open knife. I love it. I've had it for a long time. Made in the USA by a company called Helitech out of Florida. I will leave a link in the description below. I'm gonna get this sprayer put together and mix up a little bit of this stuff right here, Captain Jack's did bug all organic certified green regardless of it being organic you still need to always read your label it has application rates reapplication rates and how much to use to kill what in uh, what type of insect being a part of the pest control industry for as long as I was, I learned a lot about green products, what's safe to use in gardens, what's organic, and what's not. Pest control companies frown upon green products because they they don't do they don't have as rapid of a kill rate as chemical. Here you can see me just tying some of these plants up as they produce tomatoes. They're gonna flip the branches are gonna get heavy and fall down, which is not a problem. I go around every day and tie up what needs to be tied up. There's not a day that goes by that I don't like getting in the garden. I'm just adding a little bit of tomato tone to give those tomatoes a great big, red, tasty appearance. This is a blend that I picked up from the local hydroponic store. And of course I had to do this on all of them, so I paced myself, ate some blueberries, and um, just really made sure that everything was looking good no pest issues on any of these other tomatoes we had an aphid problem but the ladybugs took care of it day number 30 headband cross the optimus prime gonna do a topping video on her soon we got day number 30 headband cross with optimus prime same strain, just a different appearance. I may let this one just cola out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. This girl is day 30, same strain. We'll probably do some LST on this plant. She'll definitely get topped. I'm gonna turn this one into another monster, monster bush. We're gonna grow trees out here, big ones. Now we're at day 17 on the lemon grab, lemon tree crossed with YU jelly. This plant is getting babied above all others. It's a heavy yielder. It's high THC content. And who doesn't want who doesn't want something that tastes like lemons? No, I do. She 
she's looking good. We're gonna keep at it. Not really much we can do with her at this point, except let her grow. You can see I got peppers. First peppers of the year. Everything's coming out. You finally start seeing some of your hard work materialize right before your eyes. Makes it very rewarding. Got a pumpkin for my girlfriend, got a pumpkin for my daughter, and got a pumpkin for me. We're gonna have a grow off and see who can grow the biggest pumpkin. We're gonna put them right over in this little plot here and let them rock and roll. Guys, the giveaway is still going on. Make your way over to the Sharing is Caring video and like. Leave a comment down below and we'll get you entered for a $100 gift certificate to Fifth Season Growers. As always, thank you for taking time out your day to watch this video and help our channel grow. It means the world to us. We couldn't do it without you. We love having having you a part of the garden and watching all of this journey unfold. Thanks again, guys. Please like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Have a safe day, and we will see you next go-around.